Last night I finished um, the Ice Blade Sorcerer show Rule the World. And I thought it was a pretty decent show. What I liked about the Ice Blade Sorcerer was... So the plot is, the main character is the strongest of the sorcerers in the entire land. The Ice Blade Sorcerer. And what he does is he goes to... Um, he decides to live an ordinary life and go to a high school, but he's looked down as an ordinary, because technically he is an ordinary. He's an ordinary that's not come from like a normal normal noble family or whatever, and so they all look down on him and whatnot, but he's actually the strongest, the Ice Blade. Of the seven strongest sorcerers, he's the Ice Blade. And what I, it does follow some of your typical, you know, magic school tropes, you know, main character gets into a scuffle with a bully, Teacher that's secretly part of like an evil organization and whatnot, but I did enjoy uh, watching it. I d like that it wasn't a complete flex show because most of magic school shows, you know, uh, power, reincarnation, whatever, is, you know, it's just a flex show of the protagonist. And I didn't feel like this show was all that. I really like, because the main character, he grew up on the battlefield, and so by going to school, he's learning how to make friends, how to build relationships and things, and uh, the show shows us how the main character, Ray, he helps his friends out, and how he helps them to be able to, you know, get better, grow, and get stronger, and help them out with their own struggles, showing them that they aren't alone, and I really like that. The, I, the whole middle section was a tournament. Uh, basically a sword fighting tournament. And it was completely revolved around one of the side characters. The main character had no involvement in the tournament whatsoever. It was all one of the side characters. And her development with her rival. How she would come to face her rival. And... Uh, I really liked it. The The conclusion of the show wasn't some crazy huge monster fight as well, which I really appreciated. It ended on a quite a nice note. And it ended on like a sort of an open ending. So they sort of teased what's next to come. And if so, I hope that they follow through. Like, I really don't like it when anime say to be continued or they tease that there's going to be more, but more doesn't come. So I really hope that they do, if they have done that, I hope that they do intend to make a second season in the future. It reminds me a lot of Vermilion Gold, because it's a brand new show by a brand new studio. The studio is Cloud Hearts, who are affiliated with Yokohama Animation Laboratory before. And I think they've done a pretty good job. Honestly... I would recommend the Ice Blade. Uh, if you're looking for, if you like magic school shows and fantasy shows and you're looking for uh, something, you're looking for, uh, you want to watch a power fantasy in 2023, right? You want to watch one show that's come out. I will, I will the shows, I think I'd recommend that one. The Ice Blade Sorcerer. I will the shows, I think that one will be uh, very good. And yeah, I would definitely recommend that one. But go check it out. The Ice Blade Sorcerer Shall Rule the World. It's 12 episodes by Cloud Hearts. And it aired winter this year.